Well, our, our body is the temple of God, and what we do to it, it says those that destroy my temple or, or hurt my, the temple of God, um, I'm going to basically come after and hurt them. Um, Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice, or Yeshua, and when we are His, there is no judgment, no condemnation, and no one can snatch us out of His hand. It comes out of John. Um, and basically, that's what it says. It says that when God basically gives um, Jesus, or the Son of God, Yeshua, whatever you want to call Him, He gives um, Jesus us, and um, as a gift or present or whatever you want to call it, and there isn't, um, and He will not allow you out of His hand. Um, but that doesn't mean we can not mess up. That just means... Um, <clears throat> and I believe strongly about this next one. We are being controlled and manipulated by this world. Uh, music, TV, and the devil, and we have to break away from the world. Um, music and TV um, and everything of this world uh, numbs us to what should and shouldn't be allowed. Um, there's things that the TV and movies are hard pushing um, that's very blatant now. Um, like sex and drugs and um, running over people and lying to people and cheating on people and um, things that the Bible clearly says do not do. Um, so, and if you look at um, when Jesus was in the desert, Jesus was tempted and he basically, uh, the authority of this world is the devil. God has ultimate authority, but the devil has authority over this world. Um, but the devil is not allowed to do anything more than <coughs> what God allows him to. Um, I've also learned that God controls creation and has made it, made, made it for us to use, not abuse. We have dominion and should treat it better. Um, we do have control over his... Well, I mean, he has control over... The clouds, the rain, um, how everything works together, how cold and whatever. Um, these floods and everything that you're seeing that's being called uh, so-called climate change, it's not climate change. It's God's judgment and his waking up. Um, they are. He's deadly serious about uh, what he wants. And he brings these floods. He brings all these natural disasters and tornadoes and everything else. Because we put our trust in these man-made things and objects, and we freak out when we lose one of them, and God's going, hey, dummy, uh, I want your eyes on me, not on these things. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I got a bug in my throat. <coughs> but God wants us to um, have our eyes on him, and when we're repentant and in uh, what he wants then he will guide us and um, give us what we need to to be here um, this world is hard but heaven is worth it um, I've learned that this world is difficult um, the narrow the path is extremely narrow <clears throat> we do have to go through a lot of persecution um, I kind of believe that if you're not going through persecution that doesn't um i mean this doesn't hold completely true but in my opinion um if you're not going through persecution and having uh people criticize you for how you live because you're living rightly and uh repentant and all that and, and like the bible says then um you don't have a good relationship with the one he made you um our job here is to um uh, is to have jesus be uh intimately uh have a relationship with him and that is your ultimate goal and because of this relationship we want to do good works uh we want to give god the glory by doing works um that um glorifies God. So, um, like, going to work at a food bank, uh, ringing the bell for the Salvation Army, um, 
<clears throat> doing camps, doing Angel Tree, doing all these different things. Um, so, um, another thing that I've learned is use scriptures against attacks. What I've used, um, also known or figured out is when you have negative thoughts and depression and anxiety come on you and when you can feel like you're being attacked, uh, what you can do is like in the name of Yeshua or in the name of Jesus Christ, demons be gone or these, um, or these thoughts are, are not allowed in Yeshua's name. And I plead the blood of Yeshua or Jesus or whatever you want to call him <clears throat> on my life. And those thoughts, um, they don't always go away completely. <laughs> Um, but just know that you're in a battle, um, and that's one way that <clears throat> to get rid of these um, different things. Uh, God heals. Um, we can claim healing. Um, God wants it wants to heal us, um, but we have to be in a r right relationship with Him. We have to be doing the right thing, and we have to be repentant. And God will heal, he, uh, hear us and heal us. Um, we can say, I believe and I receive. And um, another thing that will help this is um, it ta the Bible talks about um, going to the church elders and um, having uh, um, the anointing oil be poured over your head and laying of hands. Um, this helps too. Um there are modern day prophets um, that, and we have to, and you potentially could be a disciple. Um, however, just make sure that you understand what you're asking because disciples, it clearly says that you have no um, place to lay your head. You're going to be attacked. Um, you're, it's not going to be easy, um, but you ask for discernment. And be guided by the Holy Spirit. Um, pay attention to dreams. Um, if you're being attacked in a dream or um, if you're a um, different thing, ask God for interpretation of, of the dream or, or what that dream meant. He'll lead you to the truth. Um, and I've found that my dreams lately have been different things that um, put, may be coming. Um, so do pay attention to them. Um, if you have, like, sexy dreams, and I'm not going to go into it, uh, where, um, then make sure that you are right with God and not allowing d demons into your life. <clears throat> I was, and I was getting attacked um, in that way um, while I was sleeping. Um, and... Um, and just know that the spiritual world is, as, is as real as the real world we live in. Um, and demons can attack. Um, if we listen to worldly music or movies or um, allow thoughts of like suicide or um, anxiety and these others, they're caused by demons. Um, there are demons all around us and they can manipulate our thoughts. In our behaviors and if we dwell on these it can really mess us up so just know that you're under attack and that you can fight these um, the TV is a demonic portal um, and it should be shut off um, you should not be watching TV it's okay if you're watching Christian programming but I would be caution cautious with Christian programming because a lot of Christian programming has been taken over by false prophets and people that aren't really Christian um, so, um, this video is going to have to be cut short because my battery is running low. Um, but thank you for joining me. Um, there's a lot of other things that I've learned, but those were a few of them, and I'm, I'll do a part two in the near future. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.